hello how to quickly solve this nice math problem and i'm going to tell you the simple reason why you never learn this in school take it for instance if you have 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 and this is 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 this is equal to 32 then but 5 base 2 is not equal to 2 to the power of 5 now the all of these is called titration which simply means a power height of 5 with a base of 2 and this equation this pro, this means 2 is tetrated to 5 simply means 2 is tetrated to 5 now let's compute this if you have 3 to the power of 3 this is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and this is 27 now if you have 10 to the power of 3 this is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 this is equal to 10 times 10 100 100 times 10 that is 1000 now if you now have 2 tetrated to 5 this is equal to 2 to the power of 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 2 can you see the difference then now let's work with this 2 exponent force 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 and this implies that we have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 4 now let's work with this 2 again then 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16 then we have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 16 now we can see now let's work with these two again 2 to the power of 16 is equal to 655 and lastly we have 2 to the power of 655 and you can see that in order to operate this compute this is going to be very large and of course this is vastly larger than many physical quantities we may deal with like numbers of atoms in the observable universe so you can see how large this number is going to be so that is why you never learn this in school as you can see this 2 to the power of 65536 as larger as it is simply means that it is vastly larger than many physical quantities we deal with like numbers of atoms in observable universe that is how large these numbers is going to be so that is why you see that you never learn this in school 
Now let's consider another one. Now if you have three tetrated to four, this simply means three is tetrated to four. Then, three tetrated to four is equal to three to the power of three to the power of three to the power of three. Then, in the same way, we can consider these two upper exponents, these two last exponents, that is three to the power of three is equal to twenty-seven. Now this is three to the power of three to the power of twenty-seven. Now let's consider this two again. Then three to the power of twenty-seven is equal to seven six two five five nine. Seven four eight four nine eight seven. You can see how large this is. Now the last part is we have three to the power of seven six two five five nine seven four eight four nine eight. Seven. Now to compute this, you will discover that your calculator will not even take this. And then since this is very large, we can then conclude that this is compressively large and can be computed directly in standard arithmetic due to its large size. So we see that it's very, very large and this can be computed directly. So in standard arithmetic. So that is why you see that you never learn this in school. If you learn this, how are we going to compute this? So that is why you never learn this in school. Now let's check another example again. Take it for instance, if you have two titrated to three, then this is not equal to two to the power of three. And let's compute this now. Two titrated to three is equal to Two to the power of two to the power of two. That is two in three places. Then let's consider this two to the power of two is equal to four. Now this is two to the power of four. And now let's two to the power of four is what is equal to. 16 you can see that this is more simple so and so on and so forth now if you think you understand this so i want you to compute this and tell me the answer in the comment section compute this four tetrated to three And show your answer in the comment section so i want to know show me the answer or tell me the answer in the comment section for tetrated to three so what is the answer i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel so this is what i want to teach you about tetration so with these three examples I can see that tetration is not as difficult as the way they would think, but due to its large values of numbers or due to its large size, that is why you never learn about this in school. Thank you. Bye.